Cliff Josephy has been eliminated from the 2016 World Series of Poker main event. The man known as Johnny Bax to much of the poker community survived a field of 6,737 entries to make the final three in the biggest tournament of the year. He had a wild ride on the final day of the event, doubling up right away only to then flop set under set against Gordon Veo to plummet down the leaderboard. Josephy started to mount a comeback, but ultimately hit the rail in third place, earning more than $3.4 million. CarPlayer TV caught the entirety of his post-elimination press conference. The support is uh, great. I had all these people come out uh, from everywhere, all over the country, all parts of my life, uh, high school, college, um, you know, friends of the family, uh, family, poker players, everybody. And, um, you know, it's, it's heartfelt, and I appreciate each and every one. It had to be a roller coaster. I mean, that was only a couple of orbits of hands, but I mean, you doubled up right away and then took a huge hit with the brutal set over set. Can you just talk about the wild ride that you just had to endure right there? They gave me a, they gave me a good sweat there. Um, yeah, I mean, I was happy. I finally got cards. So I was going dead for two days, so I wasn't happy about that. I played the best I could, and I finally picked up some hands early, got excited, and then they just beat me right down. So um, it was a great experience overall. Everything was great. I mean, setting aside that this is the main event, is that one of the most ridiculous, like, 15 or 20 hand stretches you've ever been a part of? Uh, I've been a part of some crazy hand stretches. There have been there have been some phenomenal runs before, but this was for, you know, this is for all the money and fame, so. Cliff, how do you feel about being the best looking guy in the tournament? I'm <laughs> 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 the most handsome guy in the tournament. I, I can't hear you. Versus the other days, Jorn von Hoff sort of had a famous situation also where he like wore sunglasses the last day, and I wanted to know your thought process. Jorn von Hoff. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, my, my wife said, "Hey, where are this?" <laughs> so I wore it. She dresses me every. Lisa! <laughs> Lisa! How do, you, how do you think this final table is going to rate am amongst all of them? Maybe in the last decade, do you think this is the craziest? I don't, know. I, don't, I don't know. I came across that's for the, the public to decide. Of course, everybody's been talking about how, you know, Q is a very unpredictable player and wild from your experience. His, his name's Q, I've been calling him Q. <laughs> <laughs> it's his nickname, but, but, you know, what is your... Q are wild. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to call him Q, that's his nickname. Yeah, but, no idea. anyways, Sorry, Q. a little bit about, you know, what it's like to, uh, to play against him or what your experience was like playing against him. He's, he's unreal. He's really, uh, he's tough to play against. He's not as easy as everyone thought he was going to be. I never thought it was going to be easy. Everyone was saying, oh, you got this guy, you got this guy, you got this guy. And they were proven wrong. I mean, he's, uh, he's tough to play against. He's especially tough to play against when you don't get any cards for two days. Today he became a little, <laughs> today he became a little easier to play against when I picked up the ace queen, but it just didn't end the right way for him. Cliff, how close did you come to folding that, that set of twos? I just, if he had, uh, if he had played a small pair out of the small blind yesterday, I would have easily folded it um, due to his image and reputation and my perception of him. But he had folded a small pair in my cutoff open yesterday, and yeah, because Michael was in between, he was in the small blind, so it's easy to remove small, small pairs from his range. And then the way he played the hand, he had to have a set of threes. But I don't have him on three, so it's so hard. Um, it's really hard. I couldn't figure out what he could have. He could have misplayed aces, Mr. Aaron Massey. But <laughs> we could talk about that some other time. So yeah, it was, um, I could afford it. You came out intent on having fun today. Was, is that a, a, a proper... You know, no, I came out trying to be miserable. You know, no, I, yeah, of course I want to have fun. I always want to have fun, yeah. But I mean, almost more... Yeah, well, well, this is a show, and it's primetime TV and ES on ESPN. I'm probably not going to get too many opportunities <laughs> to be on primetime ESPN in my life, so let's have some fun. Yeah. Yesterday we got done a little bit earlier, and I was assuming everybody... <laughs> Everything and see how everyone was playing, and obviously less players to look at. So, did you spend a lot of time last my night reviewing? My team reviewing? worked harder than anybody else. My team was phenomenal. From the coaches, uh, Sean and Chance, 
threw out all the guys that I'm friendly with, that they're friendly with, and I wasn't friendly with until this week. Uh, all the guys that have played for me over the years that came out to help, um, Dutch and Ryan and Jared and Carter and Randall and uh, some other guys behind the scenes. I don't know if I should mention them or not. So they're not getting any credit right now. Um, but yeah, man, TT, there you go. And uh, yeah, everyone, everyone was phenomenal. I made some good friends this week. Bonded with a lot of people and adore. <laughs> 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 <laughs>